Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the newest code version to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So first of all, you have to get an app, Code Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and there in the search bar, start typing the loader. As you can see, there was even no need to enter whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So now we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it is not over yet. We still need to set it up. And to set up the loader, we actually got to go to settings. So here they are, click on them, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here we'll need to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, we'll go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADP debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and from here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those which are only available in the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go back to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And there is the downloader app, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to United States right now, and from the moment we connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your computer or your mobile phone, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free, or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you 3 months of service for free. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So we open up the downloader application. On the left side menu, make sure to click on home, that's important. Then here in the search bar, we will need to enter a link, which is going to be Cody.tv. So let me enter it, it's Cody.tv. Enter it exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make any mistake your link is not going to work. After that click on go and wait until Kodi website opens. So there it is. Then we need to click on that sandwich button and scroll down to the download page. Open it. Then we're gonna be scrolling down once again. As a platform we need to select Android because it does not matter if you're using a Fire Stick, Android TV or a Chromecast, all those devices are Android based. So that's the platform which we are going to select. Then scroll down again and there you'll see different versions. For my Fire Stick I will be using the ARM V7A or 32-bit version. So we click on it and now the download of Kodi 21 Omega is going to start for us. Here just click on install and wait until Kodi is installed to the Fire Stick. Usually it does not take long. After that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we really do not need it anymore on our device. So click on delete, and then delete once again. After that, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. Then scroll down, and there at the bottom you'll find Kodi app. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, 
That's the bottom of three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, Kodi app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, you can use my link below the video or go to topvpnoffer.com to get 3 months of NordVPN for free. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.